everyone welcome back to another video of mine i'm really really excited today because i am going to unbox the flower go walk i've heard about this flower go walk since couple of weeks or months ago back then it was only released for those who held the flower nft like the murakami flower nft so it wasn't open to the public yet recently they finally released sales to the public as well so i finally got my hands on one and i'm so excited yay i even got the color that i wanted which is the pink and blue one which i really like let's look at the packaging before we open it the flower looks like that we have four buttons the up and down button and we have the confirm button and the back button as well the artist takashi murakami has released lots of other various flower related merchandise as well like pillows and even like stationaries i think and i liked how colorful the flowers and the merchandise were but i never really got into them or anything but this is like a virtual pet so obviously i need to have it the flower go walk is like a virtual pet pedometer. So on the back, it says like what are the contents included. There's a flower go walk and then a ball chain and a user manual. We'll look at the user manual later, I guess, because this is like literally my first time playing with it. So I wouldn't know much about it. I've watched other videos of this pet as well. So I guess I have like a little bit of an idea, but this is like my first time playing with it like personally. So we have like the various care functions here. We have the water, food, touch, I guess that would be like to pet the flower. And then we can play with the flower and I guess we can also dress it up. That's really cool. And training, I'm not sure what training is, but we'll check it out and we'll find out. And then we have like the image of the flower here and close up mode is probably like when the flower it comes up close and then you can see like its face on the screen. And then we have like various destinations that the flower can travel to on the quest location i can see that um the flower can also befriend others play games and um, pollinate and i guess like in order to travel to the locations you'll need to like actually walk since this is like a pedometer right and then we have um, memories three types of memories album friends and souvenirs so that's really cool and this device comes in um, both English and Japanese. So, let's start unboxing it. Wow. So, we open it from the back. There's some free batteries included, but I'll use my own. Ta-da! There it is. I like the pixelated effect and they even have like the darker colors to show like the illusion of shading, <laughs> which is kind of cool. I want to look at the packaging further to see if like, oh, there we go. We have a user manual here. And is there anything else? Nope, we'll put this aside. Okay, so this is the first page. We have like the product overview. It's basically just an overview of like the device itself. And then it tells you how to reset. And it says that it goes to auto sleep mode after a while. It shows you how to install the batteries, which we'll do that soon. And then we have the initial setting, which we will go through. After that, there's like various like scenarios as well. Like if this happens, if there's this mark on your flower, what you should do. I guess there's a lot of this, but um, we probably will not go through like every single one. We're just gonna dive right into the device itself. Let's go on to the second page. And then it has like brief instructions on how to play. Maybe we'll have to like refer to this later on when we are like actually running the device. So it says like plant the seeds and then water your seed and then give it plenty of water until it blooms. So we'll try that later. Then we get to name the flower. And then there's like different modes. They have the travel mode. And then we have the status and then care is where you can give it water, food and so on. We also have like the memories where we can view like the album, friends and the souvenirs that it's got. And of course settings. 
And that's about it. Okay, now let's put in the batteries. Ooh, it's starting up. Okay, so we first have to choose the language. The first one is obviously Japanese and the second one is English. We'll pick the second one. And then the top is this up select button, down select button. And then we have the OK button and the cancel button. I guess this is just like a tutorial on how to navigate your device. I'm gonna put my name. We have the Japanese characters as well as the English alphabet. So I'm going to put like the katakana version of my name. So my name is Rachel and I'm gonna put Reijieru. I'm going to skip forward this part, I think, since it's kind of boring and tedious. Okay, done. That's my name. And next, we set the time. I'm not sure exactly what time is it, actually. I'll just put, like, 12 p.m., I guess. I'll be able to change the time later, I hope. Alright, so we have my name. And then we have the time, and so we can start. Okay. Let's water the seed and make the flower bloom. Okay, let's do that. The seed is here. Okay, we select water and we water the seed. Okay, let's keep doing it then. Do it until it's full. Okay, is it done? Yay, it's sprouting. Let's water it more since the water icon is empty again. Let's bloom even more. Okay, can we try to water it more? Let's just keep doing it. I'm gonna fast forward this part. I'm just gonna like keep doing it until it grows more and more and it turns into like a flower. Yay! We have our first flower. Please give your flower a name. What name should I give my flower? I will give it Momo. Cause my cat's name is Mochi. So my flower's name is Momo. We have like little cute icons as well, so I'm gonna just put like a musical note. So we are done. Okay. Okay, so I guess this is the standby screen. We are ready to do some exploring. Let's just push the buttons and see what happens. Oh, hello Reijiru. Let's take a trip with your flower and make some more flowers bloom okay let's go hit out quest okay this is like a cafe and then there's a number 330 i guess that's like the number of steps that you need to take to arrive at the cafe i think okay i can't select anything else only the cafe so let's go out i guess right now what we need to do is to hit 330 that's the steps we need to take to arrive at our destination so i'm just gonna cheat a little by just shaking it oh it's pretty sensitive if you notice that i just shook it a little bit and the steps has now reduced to like three to six so i'm just gonna like do it till we arrive at the destination we're now at 160 we just have a little more to go so let's continue shaking it Have we arrived? Okay, I'm not sure what's up, but I hope that we have arrived at our destination. Got the coin, five. I'm not sure what that means, but I hope we'll find out. Oh, we have not arrived yet. So I guess it's just like a random event that happens when we're walking, cause I have 30 more steps to go to reach our destination. So let's continue walking. 10 more to go, we're really close. Five, three, two, 
one. And we have arrived, yay! So let's look at what happens. We are at the cafe now. We are here. Take a commemorative photo. Saved it in the album. And we got an item. We've got cake. Awesome. I noticed there's like a symbol up there. I think it was like a star. So it's like a one star item. I think maybe. Okay, there's a star at the bottom as well. I'm not sure what that means. Memories menu. Oh, so the tutorial resumes and now um, it's telling me that I can access my memory menu. Memories album. I can also view like friends and souvenirs, but I guess that, okay, like there's nothing here yet. And then we have like souvenirs, but the only souvenir I have right now is cake. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to the album then. Whoops. Wait, what? Wasn't I at the album? No, I don't want, I want to go back to my LK album. And then we have like the cafe. So I guess this is in my album now. And then we have like other stuff that I haven't unlocked. And we have up to like 100 locations. To, so that's a, that's a whole lot. Okay, so if I select like one of the question marks, I can't select it. Um, but if I select like cafe, then I guess it's like a picture of my flower at the cafe. I ate a really cute delicious cake. I want to explore like the other menu options now. So we have out and about. We have the status, memories, settings, and back. Okay, let's look at the first option on the menu out and about. Um, take a break. Let's select yes and see what happens. Really, yes. Oh, okay. So if we take a break, then the head out option will be there. But if we select head out, and then we can go like on a quest. And then we can select like restaurant. That's like a new location and it requires 370 steps. So we select go out, yes, and we have a new destination. Okay, that's interesting. So now we are out and about. And like, if I say yes to taking a break, then the icon changes to head up. So I guess like that's the difference between like if you're out and about or you're not. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the second option. That's the status. Under status, we have vital steps, time. Okay, let's look at the vitals first. Um, so we have like the stats of the flower, I guess. We also have the HP and the speed. I'm not sure how to increase these yet, but I hope we'll figure it out. Power and luck. And then we have the flower's name, Momo, and the size, I guess that's like the height of the flower, which is like 30 cm tall right now. That's a really tall flower, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the steps. So today I've walked like 332 steps. We have the time, and that's about it. Can we change the time here? No, we can't. Okay, so that's the status. Let's look at like memories next. And so we have the album, which I've looked at earlier. We have only unlocked like the cute cafe. So I guess like the more you walk, the more memories you'll unlock in your album. Friends and souvenirs, I've been through it earlier. So I'm gonna skip those. We also have settings. So you can set like the volume of your device. Okay, I'll put it at the max volume. Great. Oops. Okay, next we go to contrast. Mm, we can adjust like the contrast here. I think 
the previous setting was perfect, so we'll leave it as that. Oops. And then time, I guess this is where you can set the time, but I'm not going to do that. And then user, you can change your name, rename. No, I don't want to rename. Mm, how about flower? Flower's name. So I can change my flower's name as well. I don't want to do that. Let's just go back to what it was. Oops. Okay. Go back to settings. Um, what was the other one? Flower and then we have like language so you can set like your language but we're gonna leave it as English. Display. What's display? On or off? Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Let's refer to the manual. So according to the manual, display means that you can either set the screen to either on or off during sleep mode and it's initially set to off so i guess like um if you switch it to on that means even during sleep mode the display will constantly be on i guess i would prefer that though because that's kind of cute so we were at display right we are at on so that's fine let's move on to data reset no i don't want to data reset it um what else mode what's the mode uh so you can choose like either like the mode where you can view the entire flower by itself or just the face. Let's look at this. Oops. Okay, let's go back. And whoa! So now the mode has changed to like only the face. So you can view like the face of the flower. So it looks like the petals on the side is like part of the flower itself. I think this is really cute. I'll keep it this way at least for now. Okay, let's look at the menu again to see what other options we have. Um, we have already export status, head out, memories, we have export that, settings. And that's about it. So these are all the menus. By referring to the manual, there's also like a care option, but I did not see it here yet. So I think care has to be like unlocked. So I'm gonna just run my device for now when I unlock care will come back. So I'm back. I've arrived at my second destination and I managed to unlock a new option on the menu called care. And under care, I get to water my plant. So we are watering the plant. I like the cake animation. Okay, so it's happy. I guess once you water it, then probably like it's stats will increase like it's vitals um well it's full right now so i don't think it'll make a difference if even if you water it now so if we look back at care we can see that currently there's only one option which is water as compared to the user manual which has like the additional stuff as well like food touch play and stuff so i guess um if we look at the the up here it says that if you water your flower then the water icon will increase and if you feed it some food then the food icon will increase so i guess this actually corresponds to the um four icons on the status uh option menu and then of course we have also dress up this is where you can dress your flower up using items you receive during your quests which i have not received anything yet as of now and um i guess oh okay so we have training here training is an option under care as well and this is where you can play mini games to increase their power and speed so if we look back at like the device whoops let's look at this first touch has been added to the care so we get to touch the flower all yeah, right so let's go to touch rapidly press the okay button to touch the flower so we'll rapidly press it and he's happy, yay! <laughs> okay, so what I was saying is um, earlier, right? If we look at like the vitals, let's go back to status and vitals. So there's like the four icons here which corresponds to like how you care for it to increase its status. And then also like there's the speed and the power so i guess like the speed and the power corresponds to training so if you go to care and you train your flower it increases the flower um, 
it increases the power and the speed. Okay. And another thing I wanted to also mention is that under travel, we only saw quest earlier. We did not see hospital and shop. So these are the two additional things that I wanted to mention. Later on, as I progress through the game, then I guess we'll be able to unlock hospital and shop as well in addition to quest. Okay, so let's head out again. This time, I've already unlocked like a few additional destinations that we can visit. So let's see what we want to do. There's a lot of interesting ones. Flower Park, Donut Pole, Post Office, Library. Let's visit the shrine. Sounds interesting. Okay, this one needs 420 steps. So as usual, I'm going to walk and come back when we arrive. Okay, we have three more steps to arriving to our third destination. Oops. Let's see what happens when we get there. Okay, we have arrived. We're here at the shrine. Looks cute, doesn't it? Saved in the album. And we got an item. Fortune slip. Cool. Okay, so I guess we can head out again. Let's select the next destination. Okay, we're still only able to go for quest only. The hospital and the shop isn't unlocked yet. I want to try to unlock it within this video, but I'm not sure if I can or if I'm just going to drag this video out for too long. But let's have a look. Let's go to the flower park. Okay, 440 steps. Let's go. All right, five more steps to our next destination. Let's go. We've arrived. Okay, we are at the flower park. Oh, all the flowers have bloomed. As usual, we'll take a photo and it's saved in the album. Mm, has something happened? Oh, another flower crossing oh this is where you get to do the cross pollination thing so yes um let's see phase oh so i get to choose like the appearance of my flower when i'm doing like the cross pollination thing okay i'll pick like the new flowers petals then eyes very nice i can change like the genes of my flower in this in this way um, yeah, let's get the one with the eyelashes. Mouth. This mouth is kind of cute, right? Or should we go back to like the regular white smile? I think I like the white smile. Body. Ah, we can pick the body as well. Which one do you prefer? I think I prefer this one with the little leaves. Okay. Yay! I look different now. Whoa! That's so cute. So that's what crossing means? Let's head out again. I'm really happy that I managed to show you like the crossing thing on this video because I think that's very interesting. Let's go for yet another quest. East Sea. Interesting. What else? What else? What else? Um, I want to go to the donut pool. I think this one looks good. Let's go. As usual, let's go for a walk. 485 steps this time. Okay, we have arrived at our next destination. So let's see what happens here. Are we meeting like a new friend or something? Oh, we get money. Cool. Oh wait, what? 
No, we still have 85 steps to go. Okay, let's continue walking. Okay, have we arrived finally? Yay, we have. So, this is the pool. Oh, I also wanted to mention, like, earlier um, we got the five coins, right? I think the five coins that we earn can be used for when you go to, like, the shop. Like, you can buy stuff from the shop from using the coins that you earn. Shop has been added to the head out menu. You can buy food and items at the shop. Okay, let's go. Go out? Yes. So let's go. Oh man, we need to walk to the shop. Okay, I'll continue walking and I'll see you in a bit. One more step to our destination. And we've arrived. And we're at the shop. We can buy food and items. Um, let's look at food first. So these are all the food that I can get. Okay. I'll get a rice ball. I guess the 573 is like how many coins I have. And the price of one rice ball is 35. So I'm just gonna purchase it. Yes. Okay, so this is how you buy food. Next, I'm going to buy items. Crayon, basketball, TV, boombox and shit. We'll get like a basketball for now. Um, it's 120 coins, so I'll just get one of it. Got it. Cool. Nope, I'm done. And let's figure out where to access the items that I have bought. Oops. Play has been added to the care, so I guess that's how you use your items to play. Go to care, go to play. And we have a butterfly and we have the basketball that we just bought. So let's play with him or her. I don't know. Oops, I guess he missed. Okay. So that's playing. Um, let's try to play with it again to see if uh, you don't have any. So it's like a one-time use thing, I guess. Like you play with it and it's gone and you'll have to like purchase it again. But the like the icon will permanently be here. So it's like, I guess you have to purchase every single item at least once to unlock it, to change it from like the question mark icon to like icon of the actual item. So let's play. So let's head out again to unlock more stuff. So now we have the quest and we have the shop and I want to unlock the hospital destination next. Let's visit the library. Okay, 400 steps and I'll see you guys soon. Once again, we've arrived at our next destination. And this is the library. And the library sprouts flowers. Okay, that's cute. Mm, saved it in the album. Got item. Oh, nice. We get a pair of glasses. Cool. Okay, I think we are able to like put the glasses on, right? Let's try. Dress up has been added to the care. So, let's dress him up. Care, dress up. And we get to dress him up with like a ribbon. Uh, I don't know, a planter box. And glasses. Okay, the rest are not yet unlocked. So let's dress him up with glasses. Okay, yes. Okay. He looks so cute now, like a little bookworm. Let's try like um ribbon next and see what happens. Okay, as well. Okay, so now he has like a little ribbon with glasses. I'm just going to change the view to like the full flower view just so we can look at like the glasses and the ribbon that we just put on 
Another thing I wanted to mention is that if you want to go back to a location that you have visited before, you just have to go to your memories and then album. And then like you can see like these are the locations that you have been to before, right? The first one was the cafe and then there's like the restaurant, the library and the shrine and stuff like that. So if you want to go to these places that you've been before, you just have to like select the location from memories. And then, okay, let's read the diary. I took a nap on the bench, I met the flower there. And then you can say like go out again. So if you select yes, then you'll get to visit that same location over again. Okay, so this is one thing that I wanted to show you. Um, okay, so all these are not yet unlocked. Okay, so this was the donut pole. I floated on a donut shaped boat. <laughs> okay, no, I don't want to go there again. So that's a little bit about how you can like go to locations that you've been for. After running my flower a little bit more, he had fallen sick. So this is a good opportunity to also show you what you can do when it has like the skull icon. Um, that means that he has fallen sick. So then, oh no, the flower got sick. Let's go to the hospital from the head up menu and cure the illness. So we can now unlock hospital and we will need to walk 200 steps to the hospital we are arriving at the hospital real soon so please hang on three more steps to go two and we've arrived care and return i'm not sure what return is but definitely we need to care for it because it's sick okay and I guess it's good. Yay! And it's all better now. Food has been added to the care. Menu. Let's give it various food to the flower. So we also have food menu unlocked now. We have sandwich, cookie, and juice. Let's give it some juice then. Great. I also wanted to mention a few things. I've seen people ask questions about these situations before. So since I've not actually encountered them in my actual device, but I'm just gonna like go through them using the manual. If you want to change the appearance back from rare flower, I don't know what that is because I've never gotten it. But if you want to do that, then you can change it back at the, at the hospital as well. And if you have a withered flower, because I've seen some people, their flower looks withered, like the petals will look droopy and stuff. So if that happens, you'll just have to meet more flower friends through quests, and then you can cross-pollinate to get like the new genes from the new flower. <laughs> so you can remove like your own withered petals. If you can't go on a quest, your flower is either sick or has zero HP, so you need to go to the hospital to cure it or to feed it um, from the care menu. And this is what I showed you earlier. If you want to go back to a location that you've been before, go to memories and then go to album. If your flower doesn't turn into a rare flower, you have to try um, walking again. And then if your flower won't eat, it means that it's sick, so bring it to the hospital, and that's about it. Another thing I wanted to mention is that earlier during one of my walks, I actually got a random HP up. If I go to status, and then I go to vitals, and then I look at my HP, it was previously like half the bar, right? Like, but now it's like increased a little bit more. So my HP actually increased, but I have no idea why, to be honest. It just kind of randomly happened when I was like walking on the quest. I guess that's one thing that I'll have to continue to figure it out. As for the speed and the power, like I mentioned earlier, you can increase them by training. 
which is also an additional option under care, which I have not unlocked in this video as well, but I just wanted to take this chance to explain to you how you can increase your power and speed. If you recall, at the beginning of the video, I actually went to Memories and I showed you the option of Friends. And if you recall, Friends was empty at that time. So after going for a few walks, I just also wanted to show you that um, I've made a few friends and the friends that you have met along your quests are recorded here. As you can see so far, I've only met two, so I hope to meet more in the future. It's a really fun and interesting pet, I would say. Um, it's a pedometer, yet it has the features of caring for a pet, unlike most other pedometers, which is just basically like just a character with animations on the screen. So I think this one is a more interesting pedometer compared to like the others. And I think I'll really have fun with it. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!